All right, fifth grade bangles, welcome to day three. Let's go over yesterday's day two exit ticket, 62 times 37. So I wrote my three times tables and I wrote my seven times tables. And now I'm gonna write the products of each of them. So we can use this to help us check, just to make sure we don't make any multiplication mistakes. So 62 times 37, I'm gonna expand it and do 62 times 30, and 62 times seven. And then I'm going to do 62 times 30 first, bring down the zero. Three times two is six, and three times six is 18. No regrouping there. Two times seven is 14. Ah, gotta carry the one though. Six times seven is 42, plus the one equals 43. So that's my step one. Okay, 8,000, 1,860, and I'm gonna add it to 434 for my step two. One thousand eight hundred sixty plus four hundred thirty four will give me a solution two thousand two hundred ninety four. That's the answer we should have gotten, or you should have gotten, for your X ticket question. And if you didn't get that, there's many different places that mistakes could have happened. One, the multiplication. Two, did you expand it? I know there's a standard algorithm that we're familiar with um, of where we could just solve it um, on top of each other. But I think at this point in time, it'd be best if we just practice expanding the second number and get good at that one strategy at a time. So did you, re did you expand it? And then did you regroup when you needed to regroup? Like we did here when we did two times seven. We had 14, so we left the four and we carried the one. And we add what we regrouped, like we did here, six times seven equals 42, plus one give you 43. So some, some possible mistakes that could have happened today. So today, I'm sorry, on your exit ticket yesterday. Today, we're gonna move on to three digit times two digit. How do you do that? Okay, same thing. Same strategy, we're still gonna expand the second number, but now we have a three digit up top. So what does that look like? Well, for starters, I did 28, two and eight. I did my two times tables, so two, four, six, eight, 16, 24. I'm gonna expand it and keep my 232 at the top and expand the 28 so it's 20 and eight. Bring down my zero from the 20, hold that place value, and then move on to the tens place value. Two times two is four, two times three is six, two times two is four. 4,640 for the first part of my answer. Next, I'll do two times eight is 16. Carry the one from the 16. Eight times three is 24, plus one is 25. Don't forget to plus that one. Carry the two, but leave the five from 25. Eight times two is 16, plus two gives you 18. Okay, so that's my first step. My second step will be adding these two four digit numbers. 4,640 plus 1,856. So when I add the ones place, I have six. Nine in the tens, I get 14, so I'm gonna carry the one. And then I'll get six for the thousands place. Giving me an answer of 6,496. 
which just so happens to be the same answer that you see in your packet. That was a lot of math in a little bit of time. So let's think about what we have to do. First, make sure I get my multiplication right. Second, expand the two digit number. Third, solve these two multiplication expressions I just made. Third, or fourth, I've lost track of which step we're at. Fourth, add this four digit number and this four digit number to get my final answer. So on here, it does talk about two steps, but I even broke it down here into more than two steps. Okay, especially this starting with number one. Got to make sure you know your facts, or at least get them down visually so you can see if you can make, if you made a mistake with your facts. All right, number two, I want you to go ahead and solve this on your own. 272, 272 times 34. I've started to write my three times tables, my four times tables. Don't forget next, after I solve for the products, I had to expand that 34. So go ahead and solve that now. So it probably took you a bit of time. You know, I know these videos look short, but the most of the video is you working through these problems. Okay, so it might seem like these are short videos, but really the lesson is still gonna probably take almost a half hour. Um, because most of that time is you doing, you working the problem out. So let's get started with expanding the 34. So it's 272 times 30 and 272 times 4. So I'm going to bring down that 0 here. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 gives you 21. Leave the 1, carry the 2. And once again, 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 2 this time gives you 8,160. Next, I'll do 272 times 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 7 is 28. Don't forget to leave the 8 and carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8 again. Plus 2 gives you 10. And last but not least, i got to add those guys up. So 8,160 plus 1,088 will give me a solution of 9,248. So some possible mistakes that could have occurred here is you got so far in getting this part right and this part right, but you didn't add up correctly. That happens occasionally. Okay. Maybe you forgot to regroup. When you got 6 plus 8 equals 14, you forgot to bring the 1 and leave the 4. Mm. It's a common mistake. So look it over, say, all right, I'm making a mistake, but I don't know where. Figure out what you're doing right. Look at all the things you've done right. And then you'll just so happen to find the area that you got it wrong in. Either the multiplication, the expanding, the multi the um, regrouping, the adding, could be in one of those areas. Number three. And I hope you're pausing. If you're stuck, don't hesitate to pause me. Hit the pause button. Okay and go back and really try to figure out where is it that you're making a mistake so you don't continue to make it over and over again. Because if you continue to make it over and over again, you're gonna permanently be doing it wrong. And you wanna learn how to permanently do it right. So you wanna practice getting it right. So number three is 326 times 48. Hit the pause button. Now to solve. Okay, so I've written my four times tables and my eight times tables, found the products for each of them. Now I will expand 326 times 40 and do 300 
26 times 8. And I'll solve the 41 first. Bring down your 0. 4 times 6 equals 24. Leave the 4. Okay, give myself a little more room up here. Carry the 2 from 24. 4 times 2 is 8, plus that 2 will give me 10. Carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 equals 13, giving me 13,040. Next, I'll do 6 times 8 is 48. Leave the 8, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus the 4 gives you 20. Carry the 2 from the 20. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 2 equals 26. And then I'll add them together. 13,040 plus 2,608. Eight in the ones place, four in the tens, six in the thousands, which are the hundreds, five in the thousands, and one in the ten thousands, giving you an answer of fifteen thousand six hundred forty eight. So I hope you're seeing mistakes and you're identifying them. So 15,648 is our answer. Let's move on to the last problem before our exit ticket. 483 times 52. I wrote my five times tables and my two times tables to help me break this up and make it easier for me. Go ahead and solve the problem now. All right, so I've solved for my multiplication facts and their products, I've expanded the 52 to be 50 and 2. Now I'm going to solve each expression. 0 times 3, well, first off, I'm just going to bring that 0 down because 0 times anything is 0. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 8 is 40, plus that 1 gives you 41. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 equals 24. Giving you answer over here for this expression of 24,150. Next, I'll do 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 966. Last but not least, I'll add the two answers up of 24,150 plus 966. Six in the ones place, 11, so you have to carry the one for the tens place. 11 again, so carry the one. Five in the thousands place and two in the ten thousands place which gives you an answer of 25,116. So think about the mistakes you've made, if you've made any. Maybe you haven't made any, okay? Just because you didn't make a mistake here, maybe, doesn't mean you won't happen here, okay? You gotta keep practicing the right way, meaning you have to keep practicing over and really focus in on the mistakes you have made to not make them. Now, with that being said, go ahead, solve the exit ticket question of 626 times 37 in your packet. Then you'll go to Google, Google Classroom and click on day three's exit ticket, which is in the Google form, and submit your answer. Thank you very much for your wonderful participation today and for the whole week. And we will see you back here next week. Have a great rest of your day and your great rest of your weekend.